all the names men on vacation. He didn't mention mom and dad. He didn't mention granny and grandpa. He didn't mention mother and law and father in law. I guess our vacation was everybody just been done. <laughs> For my highly favorite verse in the Bible is 1 Corinthians 15. Yeah. Paul writes and says, But for the grace of God, I am what I am. And what I am is a sinner saved by grace. Amen. Ephesians 2 8, for by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Amen. We can never earn God's acceptance. Every blessing that we had, every blessing that we have, or every blessing that we'll have in the future is because of the grace of God. James 1.17, every good and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of life. Amen. In a letter of Paul's letters, in his greetings, he said, Grace be unto you, or mercy, or grace, mercy, and peace. God the Father. Grace is whatever we need when we need it. Most of us are familiar with the life of God. Paul says there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to nothing. Three times Paul asked the Lord to remove that thorn in the flesh and the Lord did. But he told Paul, my grace is sufficient. Grace is present in the good times too. Ephesians 3.20 Now to him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly but all that we ask him to do. In chapter 4 of the book of Acts verses 31 through 33 And when they had prayed the place was shaken for they were sent to the earth. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they spake the word of God upon us. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul, neither said any of them that knowledge of the things which he possessed was his own, that they all had things in common. Verse 33. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and great grace was upon them all. The call of grace is from God. It, it keeps giving. Amazing words. How sweet the sound. That saved the rich man. Everybody. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Why? Now I'm saved. Through many dangers, holes, and snares, I have already come. This grace that brought me saved thus far.
But I'm glad I can say along with the psalmist David, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. I think about what the little girl said and misquoting it. She said, the Lord is my shepherd and that's all I want. As we read earlier in that little letter about Alex, she realizes that the Jesus is her shepherd. Jesus is her Lord. Jesus is her healer. Jesus is her master. And she knows as long as she's got Jesus that everything's going to be all right. Brenda, I want you to know as long as you've got Jesus, everything's going to be all right. Sister Kim, I've got news for you. And when you get home, tell Brother Todd. And I know you already know it, but I just want to pump you up this morning and say, Todd, as long as we got Jesus and as long as we know the Master, that's all we need. Sister Tammy, I want you to know this morning, the Master's all we need. Sister Linda, all you need this morning is the Master. Sister Brenda, all Maybe, maybe there's spouses you'll buy that say if they've ever married. 
to eradicate unless you know you weren't doing the job. And, and I'm reminded that when Mary was at the feet of Jesus worshiping and, and getting the, the, the words of God, and Martha was like, Jesus, here's Mary uh, uh, just sitting down worshiping, and I'm up working and doing all these things. And Jesus said, Listen, she's chosen to do this faithful thing. And so Martha, she comes and kind of has the wrong attitude and says, Of the Holy Ghost. 
was crucified on time. He was nailed on time. He said, Father, forgive them on time. He shed his blood on time. He said, it is finished on time. He died on time. He was buried on time. He rose again on time. He ascended on time. He's going to be your needs on time. He answers your prayers on time. He'll help you on time. One of these days, He's going to appear on time. He's going to come back on time. He's going to receive us unto Himself on time. And praise God, we're going to be in heaven on time. And when we get to heaven on time, we're going to have a big time. Amen. 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 He's a long time gone. Yes, He is. Now, I just learned something. The Jews of that day were very Superstitious, Sister Star. I mean, you know what superstitious people do? Superstitious people will carry a rabbit's foot in their pocket for good luck. Do you think it's good luck for that rabbit? <laughs> I mean, Sister Brandon, I got to think about that. There's a three-footed rabbit somewhere. <laughs> I know people that would rather wreck their car than run over a black cat. Before I wreck the vehicle, I run over the cat. Amen. I, I, I mean, some people, some people, uh, you know, won't look in the mirror after it's broken. I, 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 listen, if I look in the mirror, sometimes it breaks, and it takes forty minutes to look in the mirror. I, I, I know, I know people. Listen, I know people. If a plague hit a list of heaven, they can spin it, and on the last. Superstitious, and uh, I, I don't believe in luck. I don't believe in chance. Uh, preacher, have you ever read your horoscope? I, I don't read my horoscope. I don't. I don't call dear Abby. I'm not looking to the stars. I'm looking to a sovereign Savior who's omnipresent, who's omnipotent. I'm in His hands. I know He's in control, and as long as the Master's in control. I pray that spirit back into that person. 
Now the Bible says that he says, take me where you lay me. And the Bible says that Jesus has been taken to the sepulcher, to the tomb of Lazarus. And the Bible says that Mary's weeping and she's grieving. And she's at the feet of Jesus. And then the Bible says, shortest verse in the Word of God, John 11, 37 said, or 11, 35, said that uh, 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 Jesus wept. So as Mary's, as Mary's crying, Jesus is crying. You know what that tells me? When you hurt, Jesus hurt. When you're sad, I believe Jesus is sad. When you grieve, He grieves God. Now see, He's, a, he's an all-night present. He's everything to all people. And I, I'll tell you right now, he, there might be a person over here rejoicing. Jesus can be rejoicing with them. But you might be broken hearted and Jesus' heart can be broken for you at the same time. I believe I believe that with all my heart. I believe if everybody in this church at the same time was praying, I believe Jesus hears every prayer at the same time. He, he is all powerful. And I, I want you to know this. Well, see, I know how the devil works. The devil could have said, Mary, Martha, what about all the times that you brought Jesus in and you fed Him and you loved Him and you encouraged Him and, and, and you fellowshiped with Him? What about all the miracles that you've seen Him do? Oh, He's touched the blind. He's healed the lame. He's cleansed the leper. He's done all these things and then He's forgot about you and He's forgot about He said, 
And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with great clothes, and his face was bound out with an axe. And Jesus said to them, Loose him and let him go. Now, I, this is so simple, Sister Patsy, but I can't apologize for it. Where did Lazarus go? Sister Drummond will tell you where Lazarus went. After he got up, and he left that tent, you know where he went? He went into chapter number 12. Brother Terry, he left chapter number 11 and he's in chapter number 12. See, in, in, in what's now, in John 11, he's in the tomb. But in John 12, he's at the table. In, in John 11, they're crying. In John 12, they're celebrating. In John 11, he's dead. But in John 12, he's on this plane. Hallelujah. And the Bible says they didn't make breakfast for him. They didn't make dinner for him. But the Bible says, Sister Terry, that they made supper. One of these days, Jesus, if I'm in the grave or if you're in the grave, the resurrection and the life is going to call us uh, out of that grave. If we're here on this earth, when Jesus comes back, He's going to loose us. He's going to set us free from this old world. He's going to take us to heaven. Guess what? And it's going to be a celebration. We're going to sit down at the marriage supper of the Lamb. We're going to be down at the table and we're going to have the marriage supper of the Lamb. All of those that were dead are going to be on display. The Bible says there'll be no more crying. He'll wipe every tear from our eyes. Praise God. Well, what are we going to have first? Well, what's a, I mean, what's this? What are we going to have to celebrate about? Well, I can see Sister Ruth White sitting at the end of the very supper of the Lamb. Guess what? She won't be in that wheelchair no more. She'll be running laps. Guess who's going to be behind her? Brother Rodney. That hand. That, 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 Sister Ruth, that you can't use right now. You'll be able to lift both of them. Praise God, Brother Jack. Your body won't get weak. It'll be stronger, hallelujah, than it's ever been before. Brother Floyd, you're going to see better than you've ever seen. I'm telling you, every need that you've got, amen, will be met. Every sickness you've ever had. Hey, Brother Lee, you won't have no shoulder pain. There'll be no heart pain. There'll be no diabetes. There'll be no celiac disease. There'll be no more Alzheimer's. I'm telling you right now, Sister Jane may not know a whole lot, but praise God when she gets to glory, she's going to know it all. She's going to know Jesus. She's going to celebrate. I'm going to be celebrating. You're going to be, hey, this is the greatest world we're ever going to be living in. Amen. Though there will be a whole lot of screaming in hell, but a whole lot of shouting in glory. Hallelujah. Jesus, the Master, has come and He calls for thee. And He wants you to know it's not late. He wants you to know that He's not lost touch. And He wants you to know that He's not living in this world. The very God that spoke life in the Lazarus. That's the very God that lives inside of you and me this morning. And He can do all things. And with Him, we can do all things through Christ which strengthens us. Amen? He can fix any job situation, any school situation, any financial situation, any family situation, any marriage. He can put, he can put siblings together. He can put moms and dads and sons and daughters together. He can save. He can heal. I'm going to ask you this morning. Maybe you need the Lord to do something in your life. See, you, you know Lazarus wasn't the only one at the table. Mary and Martha wasn't the, the Bible says that Simon was there. He is a celebrate because he was a little bit. Well, praise the Lord.
If you was dead, spiritually speaking, but you've been saved and you've been quickened and you're alive, through Jesus Christ, Lord, would you raise your hand and say, Preacher, I'm alive and I'm saved and I'm on my way to glory. Now, is there anyone that says, Preacher, I'm not where I need to be with the Master? Thank you. Anyone else? Not where you need to be with the Master. You're not, you're, you're, you're not, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Then say, not where you need to be. You need to do business with the Master this morning. Is there anyone say, Preacher, I've never been saved? Is there anyone you've never been saved? Is there anyone say, Preacher, I'm going through a storm. I've got a need in my life and I need God to do something. Would you raise your hand and say, Preacher, just pray for me. I need a miracle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All throughout the house, listen, the Master has come. And He's calling for you. Just come to Him. Lord, we love you. Lord, I, 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 I preach in my heart what you've given me. Now, Lord, I'm just asking you, Father, as the old saying, I'm, I'm just the messenger. Now, Lord, let them open up the mail. Let them receive that message and that news. And, Lord, let them come to you for help, for deliverance, spiritually, however they need it, physically. And, Lord, we praise you and trust you for what you do. We ask you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's stand together. The Master has come, and He calls for you. Would you come? Would you come? By the way, He's calling. Just come. Just come. It's not hard.